Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at OptionAlpha.com and in this video I want to talk about the importance of adjusting and hedging option trades. So everyone loves to talk about option trade adjustments, hedging, protection, etc. as important concepts in your ability to generate consistent income. And they are important, but in my honest opinion and what we're going to prove here today is that correctly entering a trade is a hundred times more important than correctly adjusting a trade. So I really believe people are focusing on the wrong thing. In my opinion, I think that people assume that adjusting trades kind of fixes everything. So it can fix a bad order entry, but I don't think it's the case. I think that you can still put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. And that's what I think that people end up doing when they try to adjust trades that they shouldn't have even entered in the first place. So that's why we spend a lot of our time here at Option Alpha on teaching you how to place the right trades, how to price them correctly, how to be on the right side of volatility, because that's 100 times more important than any adjustment technique that you could use. Again, if you don't do it, it's like putting lipstick on a pig. So making trade adjustments incrementally improves your performance by reducing losers and minimizing risk. It does not become the fix-it-all glue for all trades that we entered poorly, either through implied volatility or being on the wrong side of pricing. So let's use a really hard example here that can kind of prove this point. And we're going to look at a Tesla put credit spread at the time that we're doing this video on March 30th uh, here in 2016. So you can go back here and check these dates and prices if you want to or whatever the case is. So if we entered a put credit spread on Tesla and we basically sold the 185, 180 put credit spread in Tesla and we could price the trade correctly at a $100 max profit and $400 max loss based on the probability of winning and losing, we would end up with a trade that basically is going to win 80% of the time and make $100 and lose 20% of the time and lose $400 when it loses. Now this is assuming we let all of our trades go all the way through expiration. We don't adjust, we don't manage, we don't exit. We just let the probabilities and the numbers kind of play out just a little bit. So great order entry and pricing leaves you open to adjusting or not and still have multiple ways to win long-term based on the IV actual move versus the IV expected move. So remember, if you place this trade and you price this trade exactly at the probability of losing and that risk that we've talked about before in options pricing, and you place it and price it just like this, it becomes on the outside what looks like a net zero sum game, meaning that the winners exactly offset the losers. And that's what most people think. But again, the reality is, is that if that were the case, you would still never lose money and not really make money. But we know that we're going to win a little bit more than 80% long term because implied volatility always overstates the expected move. So if we price this trade correctly, we know that we're going to have a slightly higher win rate than 80%. Okay, And that's going to help us increase our win rate and the amount of money that we make. We also know that if we close out trades early, we can potentially reduce this uh, potential loss and increase the number of times that we win, increasing our potential gain on the trade overall. And then we also know that if we can cut some of our losers, let's say that we can cut one of our losing trades by half by learning how to manage or reduce risk in hedging trades, then again, it creates an opportunity to profit overall. And then even in this scenario, if we just cut one trade by half, we are profitable overall even before factoring in that implied volatility edge that we talked about or even managing or closing trades early. But it all starts by placing and pricing the trades correctly. So instead of actually pricing this trade correctly, let's assume that you take the exact same trade with the exact same probability of winning and the probability of losing, but now you enter the trade incorrectly, meaning you don't price the trade correctly as we've talked about before. So when you make money, you make $75 80% of the time. When you lose the other 20% of the time, you lose $425. Now in this scenario, you're starting out $250 in the hole just based on probabilities and poor pricing. Sure, you could still win a little bit more than 80% of the time, but that's not going to overcompensate for the $250 you're now in the hole based on these 10 simulated trades. So if these 10 trades played out or 100 trades or 200 trades, 
and you won exactly at the prob probability that you should, you're gonna start out $250 in the hole for every 10 trades. So you can see how difficult it is that now, even after adjusting or hedging, just one of the losers and cutting the loss by one half. So take this $425 loser and cut the loss by $200. So, okay, not exactly half, but just to use round numbers, you're still in the hole $50 on this overall strategy. Okay, so now the requirement is to be able to adjust trades correctly and reduce risk. And it's not always gonna be the case where you can adjust to cut a loss by half. So what's the point, right? Well, yes, adjusting or hedging trades will help increase your overall returns and reduce risk. There's no doubt about that. But no, it doesn't overshadow or mask the effects of poor strategy selection or pricing as we've already proved in this video. Listen, you can't adjust your way out of something that is a bad trade to begin with, okay? And it doesn't matter how good the trade looks or what the setup is, but if you're using the wrong strategy and you enter it with the bad pricing or wrong pricing, it's just not gonna work. You can't just adjust your way out of those. It's so much more important to enter trades correctly than it ever is to adjust trades. And we're gonna talk a little bit more in depth about how to adjust trades and the entire process of doing it, but I first wanted to introduce this concept and this thought process to you so that you have some context as to how we think about adjusting trades. Yes, it's important, but it's not as important as trade entry. And again, you can't adjust trades that go bad just like you can't put racing stripes on this car, right? I mean, this is an ugly car that usually nobody wants. And just by putting racing stripes on it in pink and white makes that obviously some to some people maybe more attractive, but it's just not the case, right? It's like a trade that you enter that's just wrong and bad. You can't put lipstick on a pig. You can't fix trades that shouldn't have been entered in the first place. So thank you so much for checking out this video. If you have any comments or questions or feedback, please let me know. If you love this video, thought it was helpful, please share it online. Help spread the word about what we're trying to do here at Option Alpha. And until next time, happy trading.